Whatever game you are creating, you will come into a situation where you want to transfer data between two or multiple files. There are three popular ways to transfer data between files. First way to create is a global variable. Second is to transfer data with signal and at last with the help of functions. This method come in handy when you want to share the same data between multiple scenes. Like here I want to share that coin value in the home scene, car shop scene, achievement scene and the upgrade scene. So I create a global variable and assess that in all the scene. You can create global script that will contain all the global variables. Here I have two script, script1 and script2. Now I create a new script and I will name this global script. Inside this, we write all the variables that we want to access from the other script. Now to make this script global, go to projects, project setting, then go to auto load tab and click on the folder icon and then select that global script. Select the name by which you want to access the script. Once you're done, click add. Now all the variables inside the script is available globally. Now to access the variable, you have to write the name that you choose for the script. I have written global, so I will write global dot and then the variable name. Now keep one thing in mind that it is the easiest way of sharing variable, but it is not effective way. Since all the global variable will present in the memory all the time, even if you want to use only a couple of them. This led to memory wastage. The second scenario is when you want to transfer one or two variables within the same scene. Like here, when we hit by the enemy, we want to decrease the player health. The player detection is on the enemy script and the player health is on the player script. In that case, you can use signal from the enemy and connect it to the player script and also transfer the damage value with the signal. So first create a signal and add the variable that we want to transfer. Then emit the signal you created and transfer the value that you want to share. Now connect the signal with the node that you want to receive the data. And now you have the value transfer in the script through the signal. The third scenario happen when you want to share some data but you cannot connect the node by signal. For example, you created a bullet that detects whether it hit the enemy or not. But the bullet are added to the game on the runtime, so you can't connect the signal to the enemy node. In that case, you can create a function inside enemy script that take data as an argument. So first create a function that take data as an argument. This function can be called from other script as well. But keep in mind, in order to use that, you need to have the reference to the enemy node. So in the body entered signal, we get a reference to the enemy's node. And using that, we can call the function inside the enemy's script and pass the data as an argument to the function. Not only function, but by this method, you can access any variable that are written inside the enemy's script. So these are the most common way to transfer data between two or more scripts. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any question write down in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next one.